I go home and I have like a home and a house and I'm able to come to markets and like buy coffees and buy wraps and do these things when there's people like literally 10 meters away who don't even have a home and they're sleeping in tents in conditions that are unhumane. The worst thing was when I saw the barriers going up. That's really bad. If you have to resort to that, it's like, it's, you have to provide somewhere that people prefer to go rather than put barriers up to block them. And so it's going to continue. And I don't know if it's the Irish Waterways or DCC have ruined this stretch of the canal at the moment. And it's not the fault of the people sleeping in the tents in any measure. It's the fault of the management of the whole situation. Everybody needs somewhere to live. Um, I think uh, we have a lot of people at home who need places to live. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's human beings uh, and they're human beings moving from places in the world where uh, there's no food, there's more arms than food. Um, so they, they need somewhere to stay. And, uh, you know, as a people, Ireland always had a reputation of being welcoming. And I'd hate to see this sort of extreme right or extreme left come into this country. It's, it's not good for the country. If you look through history, um, the, the best success we have is integration. Um, and rather than, you know, creating slums like this and effectively along the canal there, that's a little bit of a slum and we need to deal with it and uh, we just need to get on with it. This, this is a good country, we have a lot going for us and we shouldn't lose sight of that fact.